Hey folks, we have four things to hit this afternoon, so let's not waste time and we'll get right into it. This morning we highlighted the filament collapse and tsunami of plasma fire, indicating a CME had been released. Based on the SOHO coronagraph images, we had forecast that a weak CME was heading for Earth and would arrive this weekend. The NASA Enlil spiral is now updated and shows the CME event arriving on Saturday, September 2nd, with NOAA's forecasting model having updated as well and showing something approximately similar. Geomagnetic storms are possible on September 2nd and 3rd as a result of the CME, so we will be watching for that as the weekend arrives. Up next, we hit this story yesterday and I wanted to show you exactly what it was saying, among various things. Basically that the highest range of flaring on the sun is at very least X1000 super flare, 10 to the 34 ergs, and might be even higher. That's a civilization ender for sure. And that the recurrence time for that event is about every 1500 years, which is actually quite a bit more often than previous best estimates. Many of you will recall this paper from two years ago, considered the standard of the science, which projected that X700 and X1000 flares happen on 3000 and 6000 year cycles respectively which actually makes the newest analysis quite a bit scarier, especially since we are hitting the 1500, 3000, 6000, and 12,000 year cycles sometime in the next 20 years. You ready for that? Up next, folks, the first local observer network meetups are being set now. This is what solarkillshot.org was made for, for local observers to meet up and get together. I know, many of you were sad to hear it was a paid network, but let me tell you, I know the observer who set up the network, I trust her, and to ask her or anyone to do dozens of hours of work and then pay for servers and website management without receiving anything in return would be unfair to her or, again, anyone. I want to applaud the observers who have taken advantage and are starting to network with other observers in their area. Again, that's at solarkillshot.org. Last but not least, those subscribed to the Observer Review e-magazine are used to monthly updates, but in the next 36 hours you're going to get a special secondary edition letter of perspective from me. The next full edition will come out mid-September as they usually do, but I want to get this special message out to you a little bit sooner. Links found below the video in the description box, and I will see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe everyone.